Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add text in Adobe Photoshop. So, first things first, import whatever you want to add text to. I got something off of Invital Elements, which is a subscription based service for stock footage. Check out the link in the description below. You go on the left side here to the type tool, it's going to be the solid T. You want to make sure it's the solid T, not one of these other ones. You have two ways to add text. First way is if you click, it'll add the text, and then it's sort of infinite where you can just kind of keep typing and going and going. This is great if you wanted to add a quick title. For example, like, you know, we want to do something like just say Tuesday and we wanted to make it large and in the center here, you could quickly make this up, drag it in and you're, you're sort of good to go. Now, if you want to fit your text to something, that's the next method. You click on this text tool and then you actually create the text box where you want. And there's guidelines with this too. So if you see, if we just get this right there, it's now perfectly centered. Now, we have this jumbled mess. It's because it's adding lorem epsom text for us to show what it's looking like. But we have a lot of settings that need some adjustments. So let's go ahead and fix all that up. First things first, the sizing here is obviously too large. We can go up to our type size right up here at the top, drag that down and up, and you can affect that size. We can then change up the type over here to whatever we want. Um, for example, we could go modern number 20. There's no additional uh, weights here, but there are certain ones that have additional weights. For example, if you go to, to uh, Arial, you have narrow and, and bold and bold italic and just straight black. It's all about the font weight here. Next, we can go over to our properties tab and you'll see to fix this over here, let's go ahead and hit these three dots uh, to show all of the options in the properties character tab. And we need to fix this line spacing. So we're actually gonna drag this line spacing up here and that's gonna separate out the text so we're in a better position to actually see the text. Let's go ahead and change this color as well. Uh, you can highlight like this, but a lot of times you may miss a letter or something and then it's frustrating because you know you go and you change the text color to black and then you have that one left over. So what I do instead is hit Control A on a Windows and Command A on a Mac and then you can always know that you've had all the, the stuff in here, all the text selected for your adjustments. Quickly going over these over on the right side here, we have the line height, we have the text size, um, we have the basically spacing of the word, the letters, so you can space out letters if you'd like. You can stretch a word up or you can stretch it to the side and this literally makes the, the, the little characters stretched out. Um, not a lot of use cases for those, but sometimes you need to do it, so it's there if you need it. Um, you also can make part of it go up on the line. So for example, up like that, and this can be used for, you know, you want to make like tiny little text or like whisper text. That's a good thing for there. Now to do all of this, we're going to bring that back to a hundred and then bring this back to whatever the default is. I think zero. Um, so that's the basics of how to like work with, with the characters. The paragraph, you have a couple of options in here. Control A, remember whenever you're working with a paragraph. Um, if you click this sort of center justify, it will justify where all the lines will be completely fill up their sort of row here. You can also center a line, right a line, left a line, and then uh, base off of the of alignments here as well. So there's just options for the different things you're trying to do. Down here is actually fun. You have the type options. So if you wanted to make like a formula, for example, for example, we delete all this and we said, you know, it's three to the second. Well, you can actually hit one of these buttons and you can make it a subscript really, really quick. So if you're trying to do like complex formulas, now if you'll see that it's actually subscripted up. So you got to undo that for the next part. Click plus three to the, and then four. And you see, you can make the formulas look really nice like that. So these are some important options for stuff like that. If you're working with Middle Eastern or East Asian text, you have the ability to edit those as well. But that is how to quickly add text in Adobe Photoshop. Knowing the stuff that I just taught you, you can pretty much do anything with text uh, that you need to do. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at wmasters.net. If you'd like to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I try to make videos consistently on the Adobe products. Until next time, everyone, see ya.